Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visual Studio and today I'm going to show with you how to pin, lock or reset the node in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the Fusion page and here I'm going to drag a background in my working area and link it to my media out. Today I'm going to talk about the three parameters above here in the inspector, which are reset, lock pin and I will not talk about version because I have a full video about it that I will link in the description below. The first one right here reset will just reset the parameter of your node so if for example here we just make some adjustment to the background in terms of colors if we go to reset and just click it as you can see just reset to the default state of the node. Then we have lock which will basically lock the value of the node and when it's activated, we will not be able to make any modification to that node. So that could be just a great way to make sure that there is not modification happening on this one if you're sure you don't want modification to happen. And the last one, pin, allow you to keep the parameter of the node in the inspector at all time. So right now I've just pin it. And if I were to just bring, for example, here another background and link it here, bring it into the composition, as you can see at all time, right now I have the merge selected, but in my inspector i still have that background pinned in here if i switch and select the background two as you can see we have the background two because it's selected but we still have the background one as well you can pin multiple nodes at the same time right now if i were to bring a rectangle in as you can see we have the rectangle and we still have the background two and the background one because they both have been pinned this is very useful to use whenever you need to reference two nodes at the same time. For example, when writing the expression or trying to link things together. For example, here, if I wanted to connect the red of background one to the red of background two, I could just do that easily like so. And now we'll have the two red channel connected for both background. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contain over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.